Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who um, figure review. Today I'm reviewing the Three Doctors enemy set, as I said I would be reviewing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, why? I, well, the main reason why I kind of picked this up is because all three of these figures are amazingly cool. Uh, looking, obviously that's why I bought it because that looks cool. So. And um, I'm not disappointed with them, and I'll go into reasons why. I'll start off with the best figure, in my opinion, which, well, it's a tie between Omega and a Drashig, but I'll show you the Drashig, then Omega, and then thing. Actually, no, I'll, uh, I'll show you the Auton first, which, again, um, in my opinion, is the worst one. Uh, uh, which is, it's, they're all good, as I've just said, but uh, if I had to pick one that was bad, this one's bad. In my opinion, it's just bland, in my opinion, not as interesting as the other two. Um, but yeah, um, I think I would find it more interesting if I grew up with this auto on, on TV, but because I haven't, it's just this action figure. It does the uh, actual, um... What is it? The actual like monster in the episode, the Altons, obviously. Um, more justice because the guy in the costume was kind of goofy looking. Yeah. Well, you can I don't mind the look of him. I mean, like in one part he was running and sprinting away from the doctor and stuff, and it just looked kind of weird, and stupid. But yeah, um, it's awesomely sculpted um gun hand, which you can remove. remove it and put the normal hand in his hand as his hand um essentially this is just a captain jack figure um with a different paint application because it's a dark blue jumpsuit um they have bothered to change the shoes from brown to silver and his head sculpt looks really good so that's pretty cool. It's really nice creases on the back and stuff. Um, as well as the handgun accessory and its changeable hand comes with this, which is the <coughs> orbit thing, which goes and like shoots down from uh, wherever it's from uh, into Earth's atmosphere and stuff. And they are pretty cool. Um, as I said, um, it's probably the least interesting one in my opinion, but it's still a brilliant figure. Um, appearance, it looks exactly like what it's trying to replicate, which is the, um, Third Doctor's, um, well, the, um, Autons from Spearhead from Space, it looks exactly like it. Articulation is good, it's got standard articulation, 360 degree hands, arms even, hands go full 360, legs, um, the feet can't move, and the head can only move a bit, and as well I've bothered to add the head, the scarf as well, which they could have not done, and well, they could have done that, they should have, the, they should do that, but they could have got away with not putting silver paint, but they didn't, so. Which is good, because the more detail, the better. Um, so that's a well-earned, um, so that's a brilliant figure. So, yeah. Move those out of the way and move Omega here. Um, first glance at him, he's in silk robe look like thing um really nice um hard like plastic for the armor looking bits um his head does come off so don't worry if yours comes off it's um part of the figure so the material sort of a soft silky material which is kind of annoying because it just goes all over the place 
So. So, but if you sculpt it right, because you have to kind of bend it around and play with it a bit, um, then you can kind of get a cool sort of pose and stuff from it. Um, and that's the back of his head, by the way. That's the back of his like armor and stuff. Um, so yeah, you can kind of. His appearance is really cool and looks exactly like Omega in the Three Doctors, which is awesome because he looked awesome in the show. He really did. It was cool when um, it was really cool when his head came off and that, and there was no head there. Or they took his mask off, but there was no head there, and that. So that was pretty cool. Um, and you know that's what they're kind of trying to imitate with the fact that you can take his head off and that. So. Um, articulation wise his head can kind of move side to side not much there his arms can go at, at the joint there but it's really weird because then you have to kind of go back in like that but then there's like the silk and stuff gets in the way and stuff and it's rather annoying the hands in the 360 then I've just moved the arm and stuff so this is kind of really irritating in my opinion so rather than messing around with his hand oh well with his arm and hand um i'd just leave it alone because it's really annoying i get it back in that place so um and the legs are kind of flimsy like um you lift up his cape they're just silver and with gold paint and the surprisingly they're not that sturdy it's kind of odd because you'd think they would be but they're not they're actually not they're kind of flimsy in that but yeah um it's really annoying that they're quite flimsy and stuff but i mean the detail in the mask I mean, this is one of the figures where I think the detail um, in the mask and that just, and just in overall um, in the cape, the look of the cape and the detail in the mask just makes up for the fact that the articulation is kind of rubbish. So, so yeah, because I mean, it looks really like Omega and I hope we see more sort of like evil time lords apart from the master because so far all we've seen is omega and um the mobius creature um so yeah that's a pretty cool um figure so um yeah really cool mobius action figure then we move on to the drashig which its appearance is amazingly cool like i mean you've got the eyes there, um, you've got the teeth, and the, like, out of the three figures though, this is the only one that I haven't got the episode to go with, so I don't know the story behind the Drashig, not that I've told you the story behind those as well, because obviously it's kind of a spoiler alert if you've not seen those episodes. you kind of got the scales down there, you've got the, uh, sort of character options logo thing, well, not logo, but thing. You can do this, which I've just noticed that you can do. And then it eventually rises back up, so hopefully I won't be doing that again. Anyway, yeah, there's these eyes, there's that, there's the nose, there's the um, brown bits there. And the coolest thing of all is that just, uh, I'm right handed, so this is gonna kinda be weird, but yeah. Rawr. Rawr. Rawr, rawr. It's a hand puppet, so my hand can fit into it. So open wide, and you can see that there are some paint scratches, which is annoying. But the front of the flap, flap of the top flap of his mouth is um, really cool because it's sort of a glossy brown paint that makes it look realistic. Same with the bottom of his. Same with his tongue, which I'm pushing up. 
so that's awesome. Um, it's just a like greeny plastic, you know. And um, there's that, and there's the bottom of his like mouth and stuff. So these figures are all really really cool. I highly recommend this set, especially with the fact that the uh, set has recently been reduced from fifty four ninety nine to fifty four ninety nine. Its original price was um to thirty four ninety nine, which is how much I bought it for, which is bargain hands down because you get an awesome Drashig Omega who is of an amazingly awesome character we should see in the new series sometime, but they might ruin it, uh, probably, um, because they ha did in the five Doctor, fifth Doctor era, um, and a Auton, so three really cool, awesome figures, um, both with detail. Mainly detail, because essentially that's just a hand puppet, so it doesn't really have articulation. Omega's articulation isn't that good, and the Autons is probably the best articulation, but the worst detail, in my opinion. I mean, no, I mean, like, it is detailed, but because of what it is, it's a bland figure compared to, say, Omega and the Drashig, which are more detailed because they're more ferocious and vibrant Doctor Who monsters, so bad guys so yeah thanks for watching and hopefully um stay tuned subscribe comment um and stay tuned for my other dot two figure uh dot two figure reviews thanks for watching and goodbye